Hello everyone. Good morning. I am Ms. Mukhtar and I am an English words student. And I am really honored to stand here in front of you all on this beautiful day that's dedicated to all women, dedicated to you, dedicated to me. But before I start with my speech, I would like to thank the U.S. Consulate and Evolution for giving us this boundless platform of learning and my teachers who gave me a chance to stand here at this great occasion. I would like to talk about women and the power they have. Women's Day is celebrated every year with a lot of zeal and enthusiasm. When I was preparing for my speech, I got a chance to read about women who inspired the world with their stories of determination, challenges, and survival. I also read how women have been given support and encouragement to each other. And that's what I want to convey today. Dream hard, achieve hard together. Personally, it feels good to have a day dedicated to ourselves, a day to celebrate the power of women, a day on which women are glorified. However, in my view, the glory should continue to be there forever. We are aware and we acknowledge the contributions women make to life, society, family, and world. We know that women are strong and resilient. She makes a lot of sacrifices. But still, after March 8, life goes on. She forgets about her dream. Are men to blame for that? Not really, I say. None can destroy iron except its own rules. And that's true in this situation. Your mindset and your lack of self-esteem can do more harm to you, more than any other thing in the world. A said, but a true fact is that most of the time, it is the women who are obstacles to other women themselves. This is the attitude that many women have when they don't try to fight or provide for the same opportunities. This is the attitude when women working together ignore the other woman who is a victim to some kind of harassment. While stating all this, I would like to thank my father, my mother, my family, and my friends, and their role in supporting me, encouraging me, treating me equally, while, believing, uh, while encouraging me to believe that I am better, if not equally as good as anyone else in the world. We all look up to strong, independent women, but how, but how do we become one ourselves? There are two ways of spreading light. To be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. Honor yourself and treat yourself with respect. By doing so, you set the benchmark for others to treat you with respect. Develop great self-esteem. Believe in you. Have a never say die attitude. And the most importantly, support other women. And that's how you will set the souls towards the true empowerment.